pictures of you. And I have to tell you, for some reason, I got tearful when they showed all of you uh, this year. And this has been 26 years, and this, I got a little choked up today. Well, I'm Darla Strauss. I'm the director of the Maryland Teacher of the Year program. If they've gotten through the Beltway, and they're here. Uh, we also have a very special friend and longtime education leader with us tonight, and that's Dr. Nancy Grasmick. So many of you know Dr. Grasmick, there she is. Uh, let's also take a moment to thank Marty and Wayne Resnick for this amazing evening, 26 years of them. Their personal attention, uh, the many details that make the day was so very special. And I know Wayne's in the room. I'm not sure if Marty is, but thank you, thank you, thank you. And to the staff for all these great galas. Thank you. Thank you also, sponsors, for your commitment, your support, your underwriting over the years. We couldn't do this kind of an event without you. A special thank you also to MPT. <laughs> excuse me, WJC 13 and Comcast, who have been dedicated media sponsors for years and years and years. Comcast, is in fact, is taping a special red carpet production of tonight's celebration, and it will be available on ComcastNewsmakers.com. So we want you to take a look at that. Also on Comcast Video On Demand, um, Kim Holcomb of MPT, a special hats off to you and the team, and a big thank you to Larry Unger, who's president of MPT. Um, and he's here. There is Mr. Unger, right over there. Again this year, we're going to be on television. So look for a one-hour Teacher of the Year special. Um, it's, a, it's an edited version with highlights from this evening on MPT2, Thursday night, October 20th at 8 p.m. <clears throat> Guiding us through the program, we have two outstanding MCs. Rhea Freiken of Maryland Public Television, a little bit later, uh, Denise Cope, news anchor of WJC 13. We're paying tribute to all 24 Teachers of the Year. Seven are finalists. One of those finalists will be named the 2017 Maryland Teacher of the Year, will also be our candidate for National Teacher of the Year. <laughs> Sponsor names and logos are featured throughout the evening on our screens, and um, we're going to start now uh, to formally open the ceremony, and it's my pleasure to introduce a very talented student. I heard her at uh, Wicomico County. She sang for the Teacher of the Year. You know, their gala in my Carmichael County, she's terrific. She hopes to go on to study musical theater. Brooke Benish is a senior at Parkside High School in Wicomico County. And she's here with her choral director, Jeffrey Bayer of Wicomico High School. So we want all of you to stand for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous Fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare fell almost bursting in air, giving 
grand processional? Each teacher of the year is going to be coming forward. They're going to receive a uh, plaque from the Maryland Department of Education, a governor's citation, and at some point they are going to get a medallion from our controller, Peter Franchot. So don't be shy, applaud, applaud loudly for those in the processional. And don't forget a very big cheer for our teachers and their escorts. Uh, we have state leaders. Um, we have national people here, presenting sponsors. They're all going to come on stage to greet each of the teachers of the year. So let's begin by welcoming our presenting sponsors. We have Chris Mann of McDonald's. And now welcome Bill Aragona, who's representing the Some memories for me. 
a long, long time ago, I went to Baltimore City Public Schools, K through high school. And um, I just had some incredible teachers. Many of them are still writing, but I think you'll understand why. My son and my daughter, who went to public school, K through 12, both went to very and they did that because, yeah, they were smart, but they had incredible teachers all along the way. Teachers who inspired them and, and gave them the necessary tools to be able to achieve in college. So I personally want to thank all those teachers who had so much to do with my life and my children's life. Now, we so often talk about the importance of teachers' recognition and collaboration, and we really do have that happen in full force tonight. We also want to recognize and thank all the dedicated members of the Maryland State Board of Education over here. And we also have a lot of friends here from local boards of education, education associations, and higher education. And let's not forget the dedicated judges who spent days reading through lengthy packets of information about all 24 teachers of the year. Judges, you are very much appreciated. And a shout out now to last year's terrific Teacher of the Year class of 2015-16. to integrate as much as we can so they see that writing is in math and math is in writing and you're looking what's going on out your window so it might be the seasons that you're learning about and how can we bring that into reading and how can we bring that into math you want them to see learning as a full exploration and kind of an explosion of everything that's going on and interconnected together it makes it memorable when they're learning about something and reading and they can bring it into math and say hey I remember this or then they're counting with it and it just makes the learning continue the whole day and run so smoothly so I feel like I was meant to be in kindergarten and sing and dance and really 
it is high energy and it is fun and it is exhausting, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. Well, on stage, if you will, it's a time to call the final announcement. So if you're here, come on up and join us. You have met all the finalists. Time to announce now the name of the 2017 Maryland Teacher of the Year. So, Dr. Sam and Senator uh, Sarbanes and a representative of each presenting sponsor, please come on up. J.D. Disher, we need to do, you say good, that's why right, you're important, you've got those keys. Um, the traditional silver bowl that has been passed each Maryland Teacher of the Year is on the stage behind you. And uh, Dr. Strauss has the Teacher of the Year, Crystal Obelisk, and Dr. Salmon has the sealed envelope. When the name of this year's Maryland Teacher of the Year is announced, we ask that the teacher and his or her superintendent and principal come up on stage as well. And we want to remind our sponsors to stay up on stage, take a lot of photos, and do a lot of congrats with the 2017 Maryland Teacher of the Year. We ask that others from the audience just wait a minute or two so we can take all these pictures before you come up and grab everybody and take your own pictures. Um, at the conclusion of the sponsor photos, you will have plenty of opportunities to congratulate. Okay, so once again, the finalists, alphabetically, by county. Katrina Griffith from Anne Arundel County. Athanasia <laughs> Kiriakakos from Baltimore City. Don Miller from Culver County. And Hyfield from Cecil County. Michael Williams from Montgomery County. Anna Forte from Queen Anne's County. And Christy Briggs from Comico County. So, the same show business, the winner is.
sponsored by Maryland A Street College Arts. <laughs> okay? The arts are strong, we're coming back. And um, without Mike, I wouldn't be here today. Uh, they showed me who I was. I discovered myself there. I learned how to travel through life with arts. I want to thank my family, my mom, who has taught me how to build a family. And, and my family that I build every day goes outside of my immediate family into the streets of Baltimore, into the roads around the world. And I learned that from her. And now she helps me raise my children. And so I'm going to be sitting close to my And my dad, who taught me hard work and perseverance and the love of country, no matter which one you live on. He took me to Greece and I stepped on the soil that all the nations before us set together. And we planted olive trees at the same place where my grandfather's had. And he brought me back to America, to the land of opportunity. And look, we're here together tonight. And I want to thank the Fulbright Foundation who opened up the world to me and allowed me to see it, to travel, to make art in it, and enrich my classroom with the right today. And I don't know who to thank last. last. I want to thank all, all, my, all teachers and, uh, who were here, of course, and who have taught me for me, with me, and get up every morning to teach our kids. I want to thank Melissa, I hope she's still here. The first one who hired me in Baltimore City, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> at Simcas, and then I graduated at, into BTD, one of the most amazing families I've ever been part of. And now, I am so thankful. So,